If you know you have a rodent problem in your restaurant, you're only days away from your customers knowing as well. Hi, my name is James with Animals in the Attic Restaurant Division. Keep watching and get more tips on solutions and prevention. The notorious back door, often left propped open during cigarette breaks and taking trash out. It's a critical point for a restaurant. You've got to keep that door closed in between deliveries and never have it propped open. We all know you clean the oil in your fryer, but if you take a look on the outside, grease typically builds up on the outside of those and provides a great food source for rats. Make sure you scrape it down and clean it every day. Let's talk about seasons and how they affect rodents, not only in Florida, but anywhere. We all know, and it's pretty logical, that when it gets cold outside, animals are gonna wanna get inside. That's when most of the activity is. But here in Florida especially, rats and raccoons and other rodents, they breed all year. Sure, there's a peak, but every year, all year, they're breeding and creating a nuisance for restaurant tours everywhere. When you have a rodent problem in your restaurant, staffing is a key component. Not only are they gonna help you keep the place cleaner, but you also have to identify key employees to directly help you with trapping and removal of the traps. You don't wanna leave that to just anyone. Lots of people go home and talk about what's going on in their jobs, and rats would be a hot topic. So avoid anybody who may be disgruntled or new, and stick with the staff members who will be discreet and that you trust. Even if you don't think you have any rodent problems, you own a restaurant, and most of them do eventually get a rodent problem. So some simple ways you can check from day to day and look for signs that there is an issue are by checking your dry storage area. Have they chewed through anything? Move the stuff around, don't just look on the outer edge. Often, they get in from the back side of the stuff where they know nobody can see them. Then, go look around your dining room. Are there droppings inside the booths? Pop off those cushions and look inside. That's where they usually are. Check your bar areas and the shelves that you store liquor on. They'll often go to those. But you have to keep your eyes open and look for those signs. If you have any questions or need help, call or text me at the number below. I'll get back to you quickly and I'll discreetly solve your problem.